Welcome back to the tutorial of CEL for slope stability analysis. In this part, in this video, we will uh, try to finish this uh, tutorial. So we last time we have seen the interaction completely uh, and we have created the partitions. In this part, we will go for the loading and predefined field conditions so that uh, we can finalize this tutorial. Now, uh, the most important part here, which I want to do for coupled Eulerian Lagrangian analysis is to use a material assignment for the predefined field condition in the Eulerian section. So we'll name, is a, name this as predefined field dash one and we'll assign this an in initial condition. So before this, uh, we would like to record the macro as well. So we'll delete this macro and we'll create a, a brand new macro in our working directory and we'll close this dialog. Now we'll go to predefined field condition. We'll go for material assignment. We'll click on continue. In earlier tutorials, uh, we have used uh, or uh, basically we have created the wedge set. So that's what we will be using to assign. So we'll select the complete part, which is the top part and the region at which we are going to assign this uh, section, uh, this uh, Eulerian boundary will be, yeah, uh, select cell. So we'll select uh, the wedge section. So this will be the part where we will have the material assigned. Other part will be the parts will, where uh, we'll have the free flow. So you can see in the pink color, uh, the part where we have selected that for the uh, material assignment and the other part, there is no material basically. There is section, but uh, there is no material in a predefined field. So yeah, that's what we do. But uh, we have to tell it, tell the software that uh, in initial condition, this part which is the wedge part will contain soil and everywhere else it will be void so that's what we are going to do so that's our predefined field condition now you can just go with a gravity loading so in the step one we'll just assign a gravity loading and click on continue the direction will be negative y so minus 9.81 since the first tutorial i will tell you that we are following a convention of meter kilogram and second so the forces will be like that so this g value or gravity will be in meter per second square we'll click on ok yeah this is uh, what we have done now i am going to just uh, dismiss this one thing what we can do is that uh, we can just assign one fixed boundary condition to the bottom part you can do a roller boundary condition to the to all the sides but for now for the sake of simplicity, I will just create a fixed boundary condition to the bottom part. So I am going to click on continue and I am going to dismiss this. Uh, the best thing here is to have a set created in the parts itself and create a boolean, which I guess I have explained previously in my different tutorial, but here I am not going to assume this. So I am just going to select the bottom. Uh, surface and assign them as fixed or in caster boundary and name them as fixed. So bit of more clue there. Yeah. So in caster boundary has been assigned. Now after loading, we have to assign the meshing. So for each different part, bottom part will have general solid mesh. So you can have a uh, approximate size default size. We can just go with it and seed the part. And for the middle part, we can again have uh, the default settings and seed the part. For the top part, we can again go with the default setting. Maybe a little finer, but yeah, uh, that doesn't matter. We can just go with this part. So this is the meshing and now we have to go to job and we can just create a job. And with the default settings, we can just go for data check. So it is the best to do at this point.
now you can see the data check has been completed we can stop recording our macro and uh, we can see that uh, after this data check completion we can finally run our job for the simulation which i might not do in this specific video but later on uh, i will successfully submit the job and show you the output database file this is the output database which we got after running the job so after check submission i submitted the job and i got the uh, visualization results so uh, you can see here that uh, this is uh, pretty much what eulerian parts will flow like but the solid parts and the solid part under it will also flow because of the weight of the eulerian part but one thing we generally use eulerian parts are for flowing materials like water or mud but here we have used a uh, more column material which is elastic and you can visualize further by checking out this uh, uh, cutting section and if you want to just look at the void uh, uh, basically cut the void which uh, we assigned as everywhere else except for the wedge and if you want to look at the assembly except for the void you can also look into it like that and you can see uh, how the progression of eulerian flow occurs so this is the basic zero and this white one is the void and the blue one is basically the solid part and that as we uh, provide the gravity to it and it's then it starts flowing although the void uh, uh, doesn't flow on the sidewise of the slope but it settles down and you can see there is a quite uh, merging section here which uh, merges into the solid section because we have uh, like overlapped the eulerian as well as solid section you can check that out in our overall model in the assembly you can check it out here this is this colorless part is uh, basically eulerian and uh, let me instead of going with material just to go with sections so you can see this uh, uh, red one is soil section and green one is yellow uh, UL section and you can see this red green overlap you can see it more clearly if you uh, try this problem yourself so this is the general output and you can further refine it and you can change it according to what type of results do you want this is just a sample example so i have finished my tutorial here thank you